These are the phases of anesthesia emergence. Emergence from anesthesia occurs passively upon discontinuation of anesthetics, and in general, brainstem function returns before the cortical processes return. In phase one, you have cessation of the general anesthesia, the muscular blocker has been antagonized, and you start to have an increase in carbon dioxide levels. This causes reactivation of the respiratory centers in the medulla and the lower pons, and the patient's breathing becomes spontaneous and regular. In phase two, you have return of cranial nerves seven, nine, and 10. This means that the patient's airway tone is going to improve and their pharyngeal muscles recover. They start to perceive the endotracheal tube, which is of course a noxious stimulus. So this can cause tearing, grimacing, gagging, coughing, salivation, reaching for the ET tube, tachycardia, and hypertension. In phase three, the patient's cortical functioning is returning and it's starting to integrate with the brainstem, the thalamus, and cranial nerve eight. This means that the patient will have eye opening and they'll start responding correctly to verbal commands.